I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members for your continued support. Thank you. And consider joining today for added perks and exclusive content. Hello and welcome, I'm Berta Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation 1 Blur and I love this toy. Originally released in 1986, this figure came out as part of an introduction to whole new characters that were being introduced in Transformers the movie. Now, it retailed anywhere between $10 to $15, depending on where you got it. I've seen original boxes of this guy online with the original price sticker still attached, ranging anywhere between $10 and $15. So I guess it's just kind of one of those. Depends on where you got them, is how much you were going to pay for them. 10 to 15 seems about right. So Blur was a, a lot of the new characters introduced in the movie were just futuristic vehicles. And Blur was a little bit of a hover car, if you will, which was a really cool little uh, design here. Blur in vehicle mode measures approximately six inches long. He's about an inch and a half tall. And as you can see here, he's done mostly in blue with shades of other blues and maybe some grays <laughs> this is one of the figures that i picked up recently at tfcon 2021 in baltimore and this figure was in pretty rough shape when i picked him up i did have to uh take him apart retro bright him uh, fix up the colors on him and then give him a whole new set of stickers um, i still got a couple of joints that are a little loose but a lot better than it was when i picked them up uh, yeah, as if to prove my point, right? <laughs> so yeah, Blur here, really cool little hover vehicle. I really like this a lot. It's it's really ingenious the way they, they did put wheels on him. So he's got these wheels here and it's the bottom of the car is just so narrow and, and, and really packed in there uh, under the vehicle that from pretty much any angle, he really does look like he's cover, hovering there. He does roll really, really nicely and does a pretty good job of looking like a futuristic little hover vehicle. I like this a lot. If you try real hard, you can see visible head syndrome right around there. Uh, it's it's there, it's a little bit, it's not too bad. I'm really happy to have finally picked up this figure. I've always been curious. I never had this one as a kid. I've never seen one in person. I never had any experience with it. I've been curious about this guy for a long time and I'm really happy to finally have one. He does come with a couple of accessories. The first accessory is the front of the car which will detach to become his shield later so we'll take a look at that in a moment and then he also comes with his little gun right here his little rifle there you go so you can see what that looks like nowhere to attach it or put it away in vehicle mode so this is just one of those that you have to set it aside and uh, just keep track of it now for a couple of quick comparisons here he is with fellow movie autobot springer so you can see what these guys look like together now springer was a triple changer but, you know, still kind of in the same vein of all the newly introduced Autobot car characters that were introduced in the movie. And then, of course, he's, here he is with Cup as well. So you can see what these guys all look like together. Very, very cool. Let's get these guys off to the side. And before we transform them real quick, I do want to show off his rub symbol. So let's see. It's getting kind of cold. Hopefully this works. Yep. There you go. Rub symbol power on right there. Very, very cool. All right, that's about it for the vehicle mode. Let's get into transformation. We're going to start right here at the front. Like I said, this is going to become the shield, so we're just going to pull straight forward on this. Pull this off and set it off to the side. You got a little peg handle right there. He's going to hold with that later on, so we can set that off to the side. Let's back it up. Um, all right, let's go to the bottom of the vehicle, the whole rear of the vehicle right here. These are going to be the legs, so just pull these out and bring them all the way around into the front, and then grab the little wheels right here and flip these around to form the toes we're going to take the arms these oh, these whole sides of the car right here the entire thing is going to shift forward like that and then these pieces are going to slide straight forward and come back and hold in place right back there to form the rest of the arm so slide this whole thing down slide this piece forward and bring it around to form the arm finally we're going to take the rear of the car start bringing this back and this is also going to bring back the head as we do that, we're going to take this piece, clip it on back, straighten up the head, and there is Blur in robot mode. Here in robot mode, Blur stands approximately six and a half inches tall. And again, yeah, 
pretty cool representation of Blur as we saw him in the movie uh, for a G1 figure, right? So we're looking at these G1 blocky brick figures. Um, you know, this one actually did a pretty good job of looking like Blur, in my opinion. I really like this a lot, going all the way around, so you can see not a whole lot of kibble sticking back here. Uh, you know, you've got the rear end of the car, but that really kind of helps to fill in, actually. Otherwise, you'd have a whole lot of hollow back there, so I think that's pretty nice. I got to work on some of these joints, though. Like I said, there's still some of these that are a little loose, but if you would have seen this figure the way I found them, uh, this is a in, this is a huge improvement. <laughs> so taking a closer look at Blur, so you can see, I like that face right there. Uh, and, and, and I really like the little antenna thing that he's got going on right here with the little yellow details. So there's his face and just kind of taking a look at his, his entire body. Uh, you got the, the, the window chest, the classic car window chest that we got on Autobots, which I like a lot. Autobot symbol right there on his belt. Um, that's what I'm going to go with. It's on his belt. Little wheels right there, little stickers. Very cool. Articulation-wise, his armor can flop. <laughs> I definitely got to go back and fix that. Um, head can kind of look up and down a little bit due to transformation, no side to side. Arms can go forward and backwards all the way around. That's going to be about it. And uh, that's, that's really kind of it. Uh, the legs... Nah, they really don't move forward. Uh, you can bend at the knees, so you got that, and you can wiggle the toes a little bit. That's about it. <laughs> Not a whole lot else uh, there, really. Um, now, let's see. Uh, let's do... Yep, let's let's arm him up real quick. So, you can give him his rifle right there. And, oh my goodness. This is going to act up now. Now, because we're on camera, now you're going to act up. It hasn't... I mean, it's been loose, and I said so at the beginning of the video, but it hasn't been this bad. Of course, we get him in front of the camera, and that's when he starts acting up. I'm telling you. Man, oh, man. All right, there he is. So now we've got Blur right here with his rifle and his shield, and he's ready to take out some Decepticons, 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 Decepticons everywhere, everywhere you look. Decepticons, Decepticons, Decepticons. I, I can't. I can't do a John Machida. I can, I can sort of kind of do a lot of voices. I cannot do a John Machida. So, all right, a couple more comparisons. Here he is once again with G1 Cup, uh, side by side. So you can see he's actually a little bit taller than Cup. And then finally, here he is also with Springer. So you can see how these guys measure together. Yeah, looking really, really nice. I'm forming up the team of the G1 Autobots from the movie, and I'm really excited to get these guys all together. Um, again, like I said, this is a figure that I've been curious about for quite some time. It's one that I never had any experience with, never had it as a kid. I didn't know anybody that had it when I was a kid. I've never seen one in person. I've never held one in person, never had a chance to play with one. So, you know, all I've ever seen is videos and pictures of it. I've been very curious about it. I'm really, really happy to finally add it to my collection. This makes an excellent addition to any G1 collection. And I think that about does it for the Transformers Generation 1 Blur. What did you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got a donate button up there. I've also got channel memberships. If you want to hit on that or join the channel, I certainly would appreciate it. Please share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time.